returning to the land where Spanish dreams were made. South Africa will forever hold a soft spot for Spain following the country's first ever World Cup victory here in 2010. Their first training session was at the Orlando Stadium, a few kilometers from Soccer City, the venue where they won it. And it was soon clear that this trip was as much about revisiting that golden moment as it was about playing football. I'm very happy to be back in South Africa and to work again in this country. We have such warm memories of playing here back in 2010 and all that we achieved then. We're here to play football, but we also want to enjoy the moment and remember all the wonderful things that we felt three years ago. Spain arrived here on the back of a 2-1 friendly win over another African side, Equatorial Guinea. As much as this visit to South Africa is a celebration, they know on the pitch, Bafana Bafana will be attempting to pick up the scalp of the world champions. It's always hard for us. For any country to play against the world champion is a big deal. The opposition normally up their game, but we are now preparing ourselves for the next World Cup in Brazil, and so it's an important game for us. But sometimes it's not just about soccer. It's about being in South Africa and remembering all the wonderful times. Well, this is where it all happened for Spain almost three and a half years ago, when Iniesta scored the only goal in the final against the Netherlands to give Spain the World Cup. This time round, they face South Africa, a team that has endured a torrid time since hosting football showpiece events. But despite their low ranking, South Africa fancied their chances of spoiling Spain's party. We're not going to sit back. We're going to uh, we're going to uh, take the game to them and see. You know, I, I just I just believe sometimes. You know, unfortunately, that we we get so awed by teams coming here. You know, oh, Spain is coming. Yeah, Spain is coming, but they're playing against Bafana Bafana. So let's see. You know, we don't want to look at it as daunting. We want to look at it as playing against one of the best teams in the world and, and showing how far we've come over the last year. Um, we're confident within the camp. We're coming off a good win away at Swaziland and obviously a, a draw. In a, in a tough battle against Morocco uh, last month. So there's good confidence in the camp and we're really looking forward to the game. Time has marched on since 2010 and both Spain and South Africa are now looking forward, some with more optimism than others. But for a few moments at least this week, the spirit of 2010 will be alive for both sides. Dan Williams, CCTV, Johannesburg.